money they should show it Keep chasing shadows, they're always haunting me But I believe in something bigger There is legit like a cyclone going on outside today. Friday morning, couldn't sleep very well last night because my whole house was shaking from side to side and I thought the bloody roof was about to fly off. All the doors and shit like rattling. Anyway, I feel pretty good considering I only had like six, five, six hours of broken sleep. About to head to work, still early, only 5.30 so I'll check in when I get there. So I just finished up having my lunch, I had a prep meal, chicken and rice, and I was just having my CLA and L carnitine. And what I want to stress to you guys is it's very important to make sure that you hit these with your meals. You know, don't forget it. Carry them around in little containers like this if you need to. You know, I've got all my pills in my six pack container. That way I know I'm not going to miss out on having them when I'm away from home. So. Preparation is everything. It's actually pretty warm today, like it's pretty cloudy. It's a little bit windy, but the air temperature is pretty warm. Yeah, but to update you guys on my injury, it's actually like 100% better. So I took a week off. Someone actually asked me in the comments, how did I overcome it and to make a video about it. So I'll just make a quick recap. Basically, I took a whole week off training. I foam rolled. I went and saw my therapist like twice that week. Um, we did dry needling massage, then I went and saw my osteo. So I just got treatments and massage. Um, I took anti inflams stretched a shitload. Um, so basically no weights to tighten so that all the muscles wouldn't tighten up. Coming back into training, I didn't do any heavy, heavy weights, just really light stuff. I'm just trying to get the blood circulating through the muscles and the joints. Um, you guys would have seen my leg video and that, like, you know, I was doing that mobility stuff. So just that sort of stuff. Anyway, it's enough chitter chatter. I'm gonna run there. Nah, jokes. I can't walk after our leg session with Nate yesterday. So far. What shoes do you reckon I got on today, guys? I'll give you a, we'll have a little guess. Okay, I got either Harachis, Air Max 2016s, or free runs. Have a guess, ready? You got one in your mind? Air Max 2016s. Got these on East Bay if you're wondering. That's why they're like funky colors. You don't normally find these kind of colors in stores in Australia. So, you gotta search for them. Gotta love that Aussie slang. <laughs> so, I'm sitting there waiting in the line to get my coffee, I'm looking at the people in front of me, and I started looking at their shoes, and I think it's just because I collect shoes and I'm really into shoes, that I notice other people's shoes a lot. Like when I first look at someone, I look at their shoes. Like I noticed at the gym, I do it a lot. When people come through, especially new members and that, straight away I look at their shoes. And I feel like you can judge a, a fair bit of someone's character based on the kind of shoes that they're wearing. And I'm not saying like whether they're a good person or a bad person, just their personality and what kind of a person they are. And you probably never noticed it, right? But start looking at people's shoes and then try and just judge what kind of a person like in terms of their personality they are. Or what they're into, you know, or their interests are. And you can actually pick it. Be surprised. Give it a shot, alright? Sleepless hoodie kind of day. Got this new top from uh, SLW. I'm gonna test it out. Anyway, just about to take my pre-workout to like one o'clock. Pretty tired considering I started work at like 6 a.m. But hopefully this will give me a little bit of energy and we'll pick it up because back day ain't no walk in the park. <laughs> Okay, so 
training is just dropping the weights back and trying to control the weights a little bit more. So trying to apply it with the lat pull downs as well. Just kind of hitting about 10 to 12, a comfortable weight. Um, still leaning back and forth a little bit, but then doing drop sets and really focusing on squeezing in that time under tension and focusing on the eccentric phases a lot too. So I find I get a lot more out of it if I really focus on the eccentric. So I used to just kind of pump these out, but now I'm just trying to drop it back a little bit and uh, get a little bit better quality reps in. So I'm doing the same thing for the close grips. I'm just taking it back a little bit, controlling the down phase, and doing drops as every set. Seems to be working all right. I did the same thing on arm day the other day too. so pumped up so this is what I was trying to explain in my other video about my rear delts I've been really trying to work on the sweep which is kind of giving my overall shoulder a better look I reckon there we go this looks a bit more complete I reckon okay so I did four sets on 80 kilos and then I did a drop set 60 and 80 kilos is about 10 kilos lighter than what I normally would do and then that pickle on my head did a couple sets as well so it's going to pump on as well everyone's just filling up <laughs> squeezing and drop setting is making me sweat. Oh. Still in the seated rows with the drop set. And um, again, I dropped it back a little bit and just focusing on squeezing it and holding it. And then going through the eccentrics a little bit slower. So, same thing, new movement. I'll probably do a superset on this. I'll do a pull down as well. I did this exercise, I kind of pulled a muscle in my lower back. Um, so I'm going a lot lighter, like about 10 kilos lighter, and just not pulling aggressively at all. Really slowing it down, and just pushing for a little bit higher reps, like 15 reps rather than 12. Um, I don't think it stretches the muscle out as much, but it's a lot safer for my back anyway. I'm feeling pretty good pumped, so.
half of those one arms. Um, going to move into doing some deadlifts. What I did on the last two set of one arms was pause reps at the bottom, pull up, pause, bounce, pause, far out, four sets of that. I'm just sweating balls now. bigger in the concave reflection. <laughs> All right. What you think I didn't just try and pop that pimple? Whoa, look at how red it's gone. No, no luck. I'll feel from this side. <laughs> so I finished up my session like with shrugs, um, calves. I just kept going. I was like, man, I'm having so much fun. I've got nothing to do. It's a Friday afternoon. Well, I do have things to do. Um, I was just like thinking, you know what, I'm just going to spend as much time here as I want and just enjoy it. I thought, you know what, let's just get it done. I've just been playing this song on repeat. It's the only thing that's getting me through this bloody Friday night traffic. I'm just sitting in the studio. But the song's so fucking dope, girl, it's hard enough I just had the most weirdest experience, so I'm walking back to my car from the post office and this guy, bald guy, hanging out the window of his car, looks at me and he goes, ah, ah. <laughs> and I looked at him and I'm like, what the hell? And then he goes, <laughs> gave me the eyebrow look twice and then smiled at me. I was like, oh, this is weird. All right, let, get me out of here. <laughs> Today was bin day. <laughs> The bin people in this area are ruthless. Look at this. Look at my neighbor's bin. Upside down. This is how they throw back to you. Thanks for the rubbish. Take your bin back. Anyway, I've got to post yesterday's vlog because it failed to upload this morning. I was up at 6 a.m. trying to get this thing up so I could put it on the internet before I went to work. And what do you know? I got to work, checked it. Still nothing. Chair failed. 5.30, 5.30 in the afternoon, and I've only had two meals, and I've been up since 4.45 a.m. It's about 5 a.m. Anyway, my video is successfully uploaded, so now I'm cooking up some eggs. I've got my chili con carne. Ooh, what's going on? Is that like, how many minutes? Oh, I need food. Proteins, please, get inside of me. Time to pump the Sonos. A little bit of... Yes! Never seen someone get so excited over some eggs. <laughs> I'm just watching myself on the big screen. <laughs> it's always better on the big screen. If you guys haven't tried it, try it. Who is this man obsessed with salmon? Crazy. <laughs> Mr. Potato Man. I heard they call him the Banana Man. It's a revolution. 